<laughs> There's a T-Rex! Oh no, where are we, princess? <laughs> in Santa Ana. All right, we're gonna show you how much fun this place is. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, so first we're gonna explore this Dino Quest area of the Discovery Cube. This is outside, right underneath the cube, along the freeway. We've got the big T-Rex. This is our fossil yard. Uh, we've got Velociraptor containment. We've got a big dinosaur right here that's actually a bridge that you can walk through. This is the Argentinosaurus. Ooh, we're inside his stomach right now, maybe. This is like his big heart up there. Look at that big dinosaur heart. Boom, 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 boom. Here, we'll look back at the T-Rex over here this way. There's a field office in the back with a Stegosaurus head on it. Ooh, we've got some big winged dinosaurs back there. All right. Mm -hmm. Where are we going next, princess? All right, we're gonna go down the staircase to the prehistoric plaza. Beware of dinosaurs. This is the dinosaur area. Keep out, says the sign. Yeah, for some reason, we are in here. The tail of that big dinosaur makes a nice little seating area over here. There's a sandbox over this way. Do you want to dig in the sandbox? Okay, let's get in line with the sandbox. All right, so in this fossil dig pit area, you get a yellow bucket and you get a shovel and then you dig for fossils. Let's see what fossils the princess picks up. And after we dig long enough, what do we find? We find some dinosaur bones. In addition to the shovel, you get a little bit of a brush. Brush those bones up. We'll see what kind of dinosaur this is. It's really nice white fine sand, and uh, you get to spend five minutes digging away right here. All right, and we're gonna start inside the Discovery Cube because, well, those dinosaurs are mighty scary. This is a science museum, kids museum, where everything here is meant to touch and explore and have fun. This is cool, there's a tornado. Yeah, go ahead and put your hand in the tornado. So like the tornado air and the smoke, you can see the action of the tornado. Oh, that's pretty neat. How did it feel? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I can stop the air too. All right. Right, now that we've seen what the wind looks like on the outside, we're gonna go in and do the wind tunnel ourselves. So we've got a door that we close ourselves in. All right, we are now in the wind tunnel. The wind is getting more and more. It's getting windy. Do you feel the wind? Are we, are, are we getting blown away? <laughs> you probably can't see it on my hair, but you can see it on her hair. <laughs> like to be in a hurricane ourselves. <laughs> and next to the tornado simulator is like the science on a sphere. So here, then we've got this little planet and you can pick kind of what you want. Do you want blue marble? Do you want sharks and sea rise? And then you visualize it right here on this globe. Neat. All right, and now heading outside, we go into the rocket lab. This is right above the dinosaurs, in fact. And uh, this is by Boeing, NASA. And when we go in here, we've got like this cool spaceship. This is inside the cube itself. You see this big cube on the freeway? What do you do? You stand in there and uh, you feel like you're in a rocket. They got all this smoke. We got all these buttons here, control stations. We can set your destination. Do you want to go to Mars, the sun, or a satellite? The satellite? Okay, no? You want to go to the sun? Okay, push the sun button then. All right, and now set your thrust. Do you want to go a little or a lot? A lot, then, all right, there you go, that's a lot. Now how much fuel do you want? A little fuel or a lot of fuel? 
a lot of fuel. All right, now push the launch button. Boom, there it goes. There goes the rocket up to the top. Oh, that's pretty fun. All right, <laughs> we launched the rocket. How accurate were we? Did we overshoot it? Oh, I see. We tried to get it from here up to the sun. So I think to get to the sun, maybe we need to go a little less. And now we launch, and then the rocket goes right there to the sun. Pretty good. Yellow. What's our color? All right, like any good science museum, yes, they have the floating beach ball. You put it up there on the jet stream of air, and that beach ball floats magically, just like magic. Get that beach ball back. Put it back up there where it belongs on the air. There it goes. How does it do that? Ooh, magic. <laughs> Actually, it's not magic. It's science. Oh, can you get it? Oh, almost. You almost got it. Oh, that beach ball's high up. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Put your hand in the airstream. Put your hand in the airstream, and it'll make it come down. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> In the supermarket section, you get to check out a shopping cart with a scanner. Okay, Princess, push this button right here that says next to start the Super Shopper game. And it says if this is your first time playing, click here. So this is our first time playing. Use the scanner to scan barcodes. Once your shopping list is on the screen, scan the items to answer the questions. Sometimes it'll be better for your health or not. If you have questions, press the hit button. Let's go to the bakery department and find the first item on our list. Okay, so our first question is to come to the bakery section and scan which one of these items doesn't have frosting. I think it's the blueberry muffins. So go over there and scan the blueberry muffins. Where do we see blueberry muffins? Right there. Okay, can you scan it? Yeah, get your laser down a little better. You can get closer to it. Here we go, get your scanner up there. You got it, all right. Now let's see what the screen says. All right, right there, correct. Blueberry muffins don't have any frosting, and so they have fewer calories than other sweets. All right, it is now in our cart. We are gonna go to the condiment aisle next. All right, let's head over to the condiment aisle and find our ketchup, mustard, and um, mayonnaise. Okay, let's look for those. Uh, give me a holler when you see ketchup and mayonnaise. All right, now that we're in the condiment aisle, the question is, which one of these comes in a yellow container? Mustard, mayonnaise, or ketchup? And then come over here and scan the one in the yellow container. Mustard! Mustard! Did you scan it? Scanning mustard in a plastic bottle. Correct. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Next, we've got to go to the meat and seafood department. Okay, now that we're in the meat and seafood department, the question is, which one of these chicken nuggets are not made into a fun shape? Scan the one over here that is not made in a fun shape. All right, scan right there. Try again, back up, straighten it out, get the barcode, get your laser there, there we go, chicken nuggets in a plastic bag, not in a fun shape, but they says it's got too much salt. All right, that item is now in our cart. Let's go on to the dairy department right over here. Okay, and then the question is, between the half and half, the whipped cream, or the other whipped cream, which one of these has a clown on the container? All right, let's go over here and look, and you scan the barcode of the one that has a clown on the container. Which one has a clown? The barcode's right here. One dollar. There you go, you got it. Whipped cream plastic container. Has a clown and 
25 calories per two tablespoons serving. All right, now we need to find the cereal aisle. Now that we're in the cereal aisle, the question is, which one of these cereals lists sugar as its first ingredient? All right, we gotta come over here and we can read this one has sugar. So we're gonna scan this barcode right there. Get that nice and high and scan it. Good job, fruity o o os Yeah, that's really sugary. All right, and we're gonna go to our last aisle, which is the produce aisle. We are now in the produce section, and the question is, do apples, oranges, or tomatoes have the most vitamin A? Which one do you think, Princess? Do you think it's apples, tomatoes, or oranges? Do you wanna scan the tomatoes and see if we get the right answer? Because I don't know. Scan it again. What does it say? Tomatoes? Correct! Tomatoes have the most vitamin A. All right, that item's been added to our cart. Now we can go to a checkout station and press here when you get there. Okay. We're now at checkout. It says there's a few numbers we need to enter on the screen to see how we did. I put most of them in. Let's put in the last one. Number one, press enter. Enter, press enter. All right, congratulations. You got all six questions correct. Your photo is gonna be taken for the Super Shopper wall. Get ready for your photo to be taken. Look up right here at the camera. All right, it's gonna take the picture in three, five. Oh, we'll lift you up. Five, four, there we go. Ah, selfie. Good, right there. Congratulations. You can find yourself on the Super Shopper wall, which is right over here. Look at that. You are a super shopper right now. That's us.